It won Best Documentary at Asians on Film in the Mount Hope Award at the International Film Festival Manhattan in Fred Ho's last year. Writer and director Stephen DeCastro here at the Museum of the Moving Image in Astoria, following a screening of the film to mark Fred Ho's birthday anniversary, shared that the initial focus of the film featuring the award-winning composer who he formed a friendship with after they met at a Gulf War protest was on his battle to fight colon cancer after being diagnosed in 2006. We shot many cancer survivors and then our test audience said we would just want to hear more about that guy Fred Ho. Before his death on April 12, 2014, De Castro would expand his project to include his stepped up workload of leading orchestras, rallies and publishing books. I realized that this was a story that needed to be told and by my unique friendship, my unique relationship with Fred, I, I felt like I was the only person who could really tell the story, the, the only person who could make this film. Vice Chairman and Curator of the Museum of the Moving Image, Warrington Hudlin, also knew him. As an artist, he wrote 12 books. He's an activist. I mean, he really was a model. Also a playwright, Ho's contributions as a Chinese American to literature and music are significant as someone who is adept at fusing the melodies of indigenous and traditional Asian and African forms of music. Fred Ho is a person who walked it the way, the way he talked it. There's a lot of, our community has a lot of people who talk really well, but Fred Ho did the work. Fred's uh, story is uh, a story which is an intersection of jazz, uh, art, politics, and cancer. This cancer was a gift to me. In the 58-minute film, he comes to terms with his illness and begins chemotherapy treatment. Successful at first, he's re-diagnosed in 2007, something he writes about in two books, including Diary of a Radical Cancer Warrior. He graduated from Harvard, where he founded the East Coast Asian Students Union, and three years later, it was the Afro-Asian Musical Ensemble. He also edited books including Afro-Asia, Revolutionary Political and Cultural Connections between African Americans and Asian Americans. He was just so out there, so out on the fringes of what this society accepts, but he wasn't really on the fringes. He was actually part of New York's artistic establishment through the Guggenheim Museum, to Brooklyn Academy of Music. For more on Fred Ho's last year, you can go to Facebook. For BronxNet, this is Arlene Makoko.